All right, here we are. Hello, everybody. Welcome uh, to a very educational stream. Oh my god, we actually got Nurok and Breeze and GG. Okay, this is going to be a great game. We've got some former pro players in here. Nurok, uh, Breeze played for Fnatic. Nurok played for uh, Team Liquid. Uh, Fury plays for Granite Gaming. This should be a good game. Uh, one second. Hi, team. I can fill. All right, just let our teammates know that we can fill. And yes, welcome to an educational series. Um, what I want to do in this game is focus on not just explaining, but over-explaining. It's actually been inspired by um, uh, by uh, a, a, a video I saw uh, on Slay the Spire, which was an over-explanation. I thought that was a great uh, format, so we're going to try that with Heroes of the Storm. Now, of course, this was a very long form. It was like a two-hour video. We're just doing one game. you got to do it live, but we'll do our best. So, I'm going to explain the draft, the gameplay. Stay tuned for the loading screen. We'll talk about the overall plan for the teams, etc., and the expectations for the game, what we should plan to do in the early game. We'll cover that in the loading screen, so make sure to tune in for that. Let's talk about draft. All right, Towers of Doom and the picks and bans. So, uh, in terms of tanks, I think Garrosh is always uh, a good ban. Uh, he's a very popular tank. A lot of people can play Garrosh, and he's just... He's nearly always good. Thanks to his armor, he's always difficult to kill. He brings a lot of crowd control. So he's a good safe tank pick. Uh, Abathur at higher levels of play is always worth banning as well. He kind of breaks the map. The XP soak he can gain for you. Uh, he's one of the most powerful bans and most common bans at high level play. Uh, Alarak would be the other one we kind of expect to see. There it is. Alarak, Zeratul. Again, Zeratul, much like Abathur, I'd only ban those at higher levels. Because um, they're very niche picks. Um, and they're very, uh, they're very high skill picks as well, but they can absolutely dominate in the hands of skilled players. You need a skilled team to play around Abathur, a skilled individual player to play around Zeratul. Uh, Alarak, funnily enough, I would also consider a high skill hero, but he's also extremely popular. Um, so I think that Alarak is usually worth banning. He snowballs just inherently through building up sadism. So if you have a, a teammate, uh, someone on your team, a weaker player who's struggling, who starts feeding, who starts dying, it can be very, very awkward. We're probably going to be healing. So I can hover some sort of healer. Um, uh, Anduin is not too bad. We can maybe go for Anduin or Regar. Regar is probably a bit of a safer option. Regar has... Uh, he's got Cleanse at level 7, which is really good against Chromie. Uh, also good against Muradin. Chromie has Temporal Loop. Uh, I'm going to lock in Regar right now. Okay, so I think Regar is a good pick in terms of healer. These guys, are, I know they're both good players. They're both pro players. They're both better than me. Um, and they both are assassin players, so I think better to leave them do that. I think Regar's fine. Uh, Regar, as a healer, is exceptionally good at taking Merc Camps, and taking the Merc Camps on Towers of Doom is exceptionally important. The two of the bot lane are extremely contested and extremely potent, and the bot lane of Towers of Doom is pretty much universally the main focus because of that. Um, I think Cleanse at level 7 is important. Chromie is temporal. I think Chromie is a pretty weak hero. Uh, her main strength is Temporal Loop at level... She gets at level 8, which allows her to just every 70 seconds, almost guarantee a kill, get a pick. It's extremely powerful. Muradin also brings some good uh, single target stun and follow up and damage. So some good pick potential there. So for that reason, I want a support that's gonna be able to counteract loop and probably force her into slowing sands. Hanzo likewise with uh, his arrow has got really good engagement. So cleanse is gonna be important to counteract those. And mouth with the roots, okay, cool. Um, follow up bans, the hacker band away for global and soaking. Uh, and then Anna banned away as a support option for the enemy team. Anna, obviously a powerful healer. Um, she brings a nano boost, uh, which is decent with Chromie. Uh, decent with Hanzo, can be okay. Coloss, good. Okay, so we're going to switch up to Chen. All right, cool. So we have, um, yeah, for soul lane, Chen is an amazingly strong soul laner. I would actually say in... Average games and just across all the maps, I think safe bans for every map. Garrosh, Chen. <laughs> Surprise Chen got through. ETC is the other top tank right now. Um, Muradin is probably not worth banning, but he's a very good tank. I'd only ban Muradin if multiple tanks are being banned, and they take Thrall. Thrall's a good pick, too. I'd be looking to ban it. The first four bans, I'd be saying Chen, Alarak, um, Garrosh, and then you can kind of mix it up and get a bit more, bit more personal. Uh, Kael'thas is obviously a, a good damage dealer on many maps, um, who's very popular, especially at lower levels, if that's happening. Uh, ETC, if you want to target tanks, it kind of depends a bit on what you want to target, what you want to pick yourselves, you can counter pick a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think our comp's not too bad. Not too bad, we've got quite a lot of beefy frontline here, uh, to pressure them off. Same thing with them, they've got a beefy and very safe frontline with Thrall and the Muradin. Uh, Thrall's the most likely kill target, ETC can help sort of pick him up. Um, 
ETC and, and Chen jumping on him, followed by Li Meng. Can do quite a bit of damage. It's relatively easy to kite away from Zul'jin. I don't consider Zul'jin to be a very good hero compared to the other ones. So we'll see how he does in this game. And, uh, yeah. For us as Regar, sorry, this has been a very quick loading screen. Uh, we're going to be rotating around and we're going to want to be putting particular focus, especially as a Regar, on the mercenary camp. That's what one of our damage dealers wants to do as well. So presumably one of the damage dealers. In fact, Regar is so good at this, I could probably do it solo. Uh, but the other damage dealers would want to join in. Okay, so we're obviously going to go with this. Um, there is something to be said for the totem. It's pretty nice. Gives us a bit more CC, a bit more zoning. Could be pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of the lightning shield stuff. But it's okay. We're obviously going to go for Ancestral. Um, probably go for Earth Shield as well. Give us some extra burst uh, healing protection single target against sort of the pick potential that they have. Like Mur like Hanzo Arrow, Storm Bolt, uh, Chromie Slows, possibly Malfruits. Um, I think probably the bigger totem is what we're looking for here. Yeah, I think we're going to go for the bigger totem. A bit more sort of pick potential for our team. Okay, and I'll probably make some mistakes here playing. Uh, first over-explained game that we're doing here. Missed the globe, which is a bit of a bummer. We want to get most of that XP, and we lock to rotate. They're going to expect us to, so that's really good positioning by Muradin. Uh, we can put this down and kind of harass him, like so. Okay, I'm going to heal him and myself a little bit. Okay, and we're going to be here for most of the experience. So that was really good position by Muradin. Moving into position to try to zone us off the rotation. I'm going to rotate up towards mid. To get that XP. Our team should be okay. They're going to do that bot lane. Again, as Regar, we've got a phenomenal amount of wave clear thanks to our lightning shield. And he's got strong basic attacks as well. So we can make use of that. Team's going to get dove, but they should be safe. Okay, now I want to rotate down. We want to look at the Merc camp. I'm going to ping. I'm going to the Merc camp. Team's going to join in, which is awesome. Going to heal Breeze. Enemy team is almost definitely doing theirs as well. Breeze is scouting here to make sure that they don't invade, which is smart. We're going to invade them now. We're probably too late. Good route from Malfury, and he expects it. So you should expect at this level of play that there's going to be a large focus on the Merc camps. Going to kill this fast. I don't want to over push it, though. We want, the, uh, we want the actual minion wave to be further back so we can actually deal with this Merc camp. We don't want it to push it in too much. We want the Mercs to help us, the minions to help us. Uh, so that we'll be more easily able to push this in. So we're delaying our clear of the wave to ensure this. In fact, we actually get a globe out of it as well. Now, at this point, we do want to push fairly aggressively. Sidestep the chromie thing. And see, I'm being very aggressive here. Watch out for the root. Uh, we might get one, one through. This is probably going to die. No, it actually exploded. So that's very successful for us there. Manipulating the wave there, not over pushing uh, to ensure that that goes through. Okay, cool. Um, these are all pretty good. I'm going to get the healing totem. That's a huge kill. Really well played. Okay, that's a good uh, slow by her. We'll throw out a heal. I've been rooted. I should be dead. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, we get picked off. That's a really good turn by them. Maybe a little bit over aggressive there for us. Um, I don't know if I could have done too much else. We got stunned, and then we got hit by the root as well. We got rooted, then stunned. Yeah, so a bit of mispositioning by me. A bit over-aggressive on the follow of the ETC there. Uh, mistakes were made. Not too big of a deal. So normally, on the first objective, the solo laners fight over this. The great kill by Li Ming once again. Uh, and then the bigger team fights over here. Because this is neutral, whereas these are on your side of the map. They're quite easy to take. So it looks like we're going to go for this. Sul Jin, being focused a little bit. Should be okay. Mm. All right. I think we're mostly fine. I'm going to channel this. ETC should be able to zone just fine. It's only Murden. He can stun him. He can knock him back. Here comes the stun. Murden's going to jump in, maybe. Not going to. He's too scared. Great kill by Li Ming again. So we should actually get, arguably, all three of these. I'm going to clear this out. We're close to level 7, so it's worth to stop for a wave, I think. Actually, our team are fighting. I'm going to come join them. Just move that into position. Throw this down so we have some extra healing here. We're going to zone out. Put this on him in case he was going to engage. We didn't decide to. And we've actually got all three of these, which is phenomenal. Let's make sure that he's going to be okay. We're going to grab the cleanse. It's going to be useful no matter what. Hmm. I didn't want to press that. I just got scared he might actually die to Chromie. Probably was unnecessary. He's going to Hearthstone out. 
But there you go. We got all of those. We would like to get the um, the Merc camp, and the enemy team knows it. So they're going to zone us off. They might even try to invade it. It's possible. I'm going to push this out instead. Put pressure on like that. Just going to try to clear this as fast as possible. It needs to be ready in case they are, they are stealing it, possibly. Okay. No, they're not. But we want to move in. They're probably going to be doing it themselves. So they're probably going to invade us here. Okay. Go slow totem down as well. The healing totem there just to make sure that we're safe enough. Again, great zoning by ETC. You can see the ETC is positioned to the side. He's making sure... He knows that the enemy team could be invading. So he's positioned to make sure that they don't do anything too untoward. Got a hit by Stormbolt. It's not a huge deal at all. Slow Totem just to harass. I've got lots of mana. Can scout with the Totem with the reactivation. Li Ming will catch all of this. And with the camp dead, we're actually feeling pretty good. Gotta make sure Zul'jin gets out alive. Nah, he's not gonna. If he ran towards me, he might have lived. Oh well. Okay, we're gonna Hearthstone and come top lane. So that was tough. I should have actually hit him with the clan with the it's tough to know because he didn't run far away enough If he ran up towards the north hard I could have cleansed him He will know for next time because he will have seen that we need to try to secure this we have 10 So it should be safe to do so gonna get ancestral healing again will help us with that burst heal The enemy team won't contest because we have 10 we're feeling pretty good about that. Okay. They are looking towards top though ETC is soaking mid which is good. He's actually jumping in and coming in as well Go in on Thrall as well. That's an easy kill. Gonna take the camp too now as well. Uh, heal Li Ming. Just chomp down the camp. You can reactivate your uh, trait as the wolf to uh, while you're fighting the camp for a bit of extra damage. It does make you vulnerable, but uh, it's usually worth it, I'd say. Okay, Murden's doing a smart thing and trying to zone them out there. This should absorb some turret shots, I believe. We can finish this off. All right, good. Throw in a heal here. He probably has storm bolts, so. Oh, that's not so hot. I'm gonna super die. I was thinking about clan. I did just throw out a cleanse for the sake of it. At the end, because I was going to die. It's a good kill. Li Ming has very little mana. Yeah, we're all going to die here. Mm. Maybe bit off a bit more than we could chew. This is nice, though. We get some shots through. We spawns are short enough that we come back. Now, it becomes a lot more dangerous to take risky plays like that. Um, once you get later in the game. Like, if you risk being dead for an objective, it's bad. They're probably going to get both these Merc Camps. And luckily, our, t our bottom lane is still safe enough. So we're not in too much danger here. But... ETC has stage dive, so he's probably going to jump in. We're probably looking just to secure one of these towers. Probably the bottom one, if at all. Well, unless ETC stage dives in, he's getting this. Okay, so we're not going to bother interrupting. Can put in a few slows. Can replace the slow. Okay. Nice kill by by her. I'm not too worried here. Shit. So I got hit by that stun. That was that was not good. Good root by him. And great kill. Li Ming playing super well. I need to be more careful. My positioning has been very bad. I need to not get hit by the Hanzo arrow so I can I can cleanse it. That's actually very important. That's a great kill as well. They will get some shot uh hits onto our structure there, but it's not a huge deal. We're going to come help uh, Zul'jin doing this. Uh, the lightning shield is going to be huge here to protect myself against the chromie loop, some max health uh, percentage. It's also going to be a very hefty shield onto ETC or onto the Chen, which is something that Regar otherwise lacks, strong single target. 
We want to push in um, these uh, sappers and get as much damage as possible. They actually have two people up top, so I'm going to be very aggressive and just tank this. Sidestep that. I actually took a turret shot by accident. Unlucky. We're going to smash this, and this is very important. Nice. Huge. Really good play by her. Chromie might loop me here. Just cleanse that. I don't think he was in any danger, especially after I, uh, after I ancestraled him, but better safe than sorry in that situation, I think. It's probably, it's usually probably not worth overly min-maxing that sort of stuff. Like, play to, uh, just, yeah, don't risk the deaths. When, especially with the objective, is not that close to us now. I just ping that I don't have cleanse, so they know. They need to play a little more safe. Hanzo arrow would be bad news. So we just need to be careful of that. Heal her. We just want to defend this. So once you control the bottom tower, it gives you access to both merc camps. There's actually a Murden behind us. That's somewhat scary. By somewhat, I very much mean somewhat. Great kill again. Li Ming is absolutely stomping these guys. In fact, I'd say at this point, we want to just, yeah, prioritize more towards here. Chen will go down. I think we can fairly aggressively take this camp. They're very much pushed back. They have one dead with Muradin, who's their principal scout. They could try to force us here, but it's so hard for them. The access points of this camp are so far back. That's another great kill. Didn't even need to do anything much there myself. Give him a shield so he does a little bit more damage. Okay, we're good. We just want to push the sappers in for more shots. Enemy team down to 11 health, which is nice for us. Leeming is no mana. She wants to back out. We're going to make our totem stronger. There's some shots delivered. They did a good job of defending. We want to swing back. I'm going to grab this. Ca ah, actually, I want to defend bottom. I need to make sure that if they Hanzo arrow this, they don't take it. Leeming can solo it just fine. I need to stay with the team, and I need to make sure not to get Hanzo arrowed. So let's watch our positioning here. Can throw out the slowing totems just to help with this. We want to hold on to this tower as long as possible. They are going to wear it down. They've Hanzo Chromie. So they, they are going to kill it eventually. Not much we can do about it. ETC stage diving somewhere. Gonna go kill Thrall. Gonna lose Li Ming. I'm running up to help. Gonna be too late though. They're in trouble. Like a lot of trouble. Oh, no. Shit. So there I tried to body block the Stormbolt. Unfortunately, he has piercing, so didn't work. Zul'jin will secure bottom tower, though. We shall fire five shots. The enemy team is down to one. I don't think we can stop this. Well, maybe. Yeah, we can, actually. Okay. Team is in a decent position. Need to be very careful here. Okay, she dodges that for what it's worth. Shield on him so he won't die. That was close. Testingo. Okay. It's fine. Alright, we give them they give this up. It's okay. Oh, ETC went in. Ah well. Doesn't really matter. Uh, they're gonna take boss, but they're so far behind that we're we're fine. We just need one tower. We'll push one camp on through. So we're going to swing to the bottom. The enemy team is doing boss, so we should actually... There's a good chance we just steal this camp. And we're going to take the portal, actually. Which is somewhat scary, but we're going to get away with it. And this camp is actually game winning. That's big. Slow totem on him, and he should just die. Yeah, okay, that should be game one. Big mistake by the enemy team. They, they're going to try to push these sappers back. But I don't think they can get him back. Which is good for us. I 
I have cleanse now. It was two seconds on that. One sapper. No, it's not going to go through. Good defense by the enemy team. They used everything, which is smart. They had to. Okay. This tower is going to go down almost definitely. We could have a Li Ming knockback. Speak. All right. Keep this gone so we do want to get out of here. And run back. I don't think they have anything to force and engage. But there's always risk, right? <clears throat> we want to take this camp. They might invade. Nah, Thrall's mid lane, so we're not too worried about it. This is going to be a big team fight on even talents here. Li Ming's low on mana, so it is somewhat scary. I don't have Ancestral. Going to ping that I don't have Ancestral, so my team knows. They have to play around it at least a little bit. ETC's going in. I like it. Missed my cleanse. Throw to heal. Quad kill. That's game. GG's. Well played by the team. Phenomenal. Absolutely incredible Lee Ming play. Just really, really good. Really, really good. And uh, that was a really nice game of Towers of Doom. So again, you see the idea of uh, playing around the, the bottom merc camps. The top merc camp is kind of a bonus. It's it's so far away from the bot lane that it's hard to actually take. Solo lane up top, they just mostly soak experience. Um, you know, the, the top two are, uh, yeah, e easy MVP for him, no question. Uh, the top two um, altars are, you know, they're, they're so defensively positioned that usually it's a trade. Uh, and then the bottom altar, the bottom merc camps, and the bottom towers are where you're focusing. Um, again, in terms of... I thought I played that okay. Uh, I'd say one thing that I definitely needed to change. I needed to watch my positioning a bit. I was a bit too far forwards. Um, especially there was at least two, if not three, Hanzo arrows. Um, that I got hit by that I shouldn't have been. Like, I got hit by a Hanzo arrow when I had cleanse available. And my teammate was beside me that got hit. And because I got hit by the splash arrow and got stunned, I wasn't able to cleanse them, wasn't able to save them. So that was a mistake and could definitely, definitely do that better. Uh, wow, Zul'jin churned out the damage over that game as well. If you guys want to see the talent fills and what people took, here they are. Uh, you got like Force Armor, Charge Blast, Calamity, Wave of Force, Illusionist, and Mirror Ball for the uh, MVP Li Ming. Very cool. On Regar, I went for Colossal Totem, Healing Totem. The Healing Totem wasn't great, actually, this game. But it's kind of nice when you're fighting around points. Honestly, you're pretty free to mix up your build whatever way you want. I would say the essentials are cleanse. Obviously against the temporal loop, which we, you know, predicted. Um, and we did cancel a couple of them. She still gets the value of the cooldown reduction, which is still good. Um, ancestral healing is a pretty mandatory as well. These two are pretty mandatory. Unless they don't have anything worth cleansing. This is always mandatory. Earth shield is nearly always amazing. Um... It gives so much single target uh, healing, which otherwise you really lack aside from your heroic. Um, and then you can kind of, you can, you're pretty flexible on your other talents here, to be honest. Um, so there you go. That was uh, educational game I one. So grossly incandescent.